Israel's tech industry has become the country's leading trade sector. It accounts for over 40% of exports. But increasingly, what the rest of the world really wants isn't just the hardware or even the software, but that sort of entrepreneurial culture, the spirit that enabled all those developments to happen in the first place. One project helping meet that demand now is the Schusterman Initiative's Reality Tech. They're bringing promising young tech professionals to Israel to help them build a global community for positive change. Two people taking part in that program are here with us. Lisa Besserman is founder and CEO of the startup Buenos Aires, and Mark Fisher is CEO of Dogtown Media, a California-based mobile tech studio. Thank you both very much for being here. Thank you for having us. Lisa, let's talk startup Buenos Aires. First of all, what are you looking to get out of this experience in Israel to bring over to Argentina? Sure. So one of the missions of Startup Buenos Aires is to connect global startup ecosystems all around the world. We have immense talent in Argentina, but we also recognize that human capital has no borders. And there's strength in numbers, and I think that there's a lot to be said for collaboration in many different areas around the world. And Israel is known for its innovation and its entrepreneurial spirit. So for me, personally, coming here and being exposed to the incredible human capital that we've seen and the incredible innovations that this country has created, uh, it's really important to to build these bridges globally between these different startup communities. Lisa, what is the sort of ingredient, if you could put it in those words that you've seen so far, that sort of spirit, that culture that you find here? Oh, I, I mean, it, it's really hard to say because there's just been so much talent coming out of Israel. But I say if I had to choose one word, I'd say resiliency. Mark, uh, your take has to be different because you're coming from California. Some would say that is the mothership of tech innovation. And yet Israel has, of course, made its own path. What are you coming to get out of here that you couldn't get in California? Um, Great question. Some of the most exciting developments in the world are coming from this part of the world right now, such as cybersecurity, uh, innovation around robotics, and especially in uh, digital healthcare. Uh, Israeli startups may have a small footprint on the world's uh, 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 platform as far as uh, how many people there currently are in the country, but as far as their impact goes, it is immense. And we're seeing a lot of innovation starting right here now. And uh, my mission is to create cross cultural exchanges between. California-based uh, companies and Israeli startups so we can learn from each other to help each other in um, being successful in the future. Mark, one of the goals of the reality tech isn't just to, it, uh, let's just say, on for pure capitalist uh, motives. It wants to uh, help affect change, positive change in the world. And I know your company uh, did uh, involve in a project that had to do with breast cancer that one could say is one great example of how tech can affect social change. Uh, absolutely. So my mission is to uh, solve pain points in people's lives, to solve major global problems, and to use technology as an initiative uh, to create uh, change at scale and to disrupt the status quo. So what I've had the pleasure of doing is working with the World Breast, uh, World Breast Cancer Foundation to roll out a mobile solution that is um, able to be deciphered across multiple cultures uh, without the need of translation. Uh, we used uh, lemons as a uh, imagery outpost to show women across the world the early signs of breast cancer so they can detect it and then give them the resources so that they can find ways of helping themselves and taking care of their health uh, with early detection and finding medical care in their communities. Lisa, what stands out to you in your experience either here or working with Startup Buenos Aires that is really about social change? I mean, what, what are the startups catching your eye that aren't just about, you know, the ad dollars at the end of the day? I think it really matters about how we can make an impact on this world and what we can do to change each other's lives. And I think there's a lot of social impact programs that are occurring everywhere. And it's really our our purpose to find those startups, to foster those startups, and give them a platform to scale and to succeed. And that's why I think we're seeing you know, this ecosystem grow borderless. And I think it's incredibly important to collaborate and give each other a voice and create a platform where we can allow each other to scale and work with one another. Uh Mark, it's certainly almost impossible to come to Israel and ignore the political situation here, specifically the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Has that played any role in this experience here? Absolutely, and it's uh, impossible to ignore. It was first and foremost on my mind before I stepped on the airplane to uh, come here. Uh, it's very deep in the ethos of um, 
all conversations that I've had when I've talked to people about my tr upcoming trip to uh, this nation. Uh, I'm very optimistic and I believe that um, as a tech leader that we are responsible to impact lives and create uh, change in any way possible. So what we've been doing is spending a lot of time with um, Israeli and uh, Israeli Arab and Palestinian startup uh, founders to find ways that they have made uh, diversity work in the workplace to use their shared backgrounds and understanding to bridge the gap between them and create uh, value in the startup ecosystem here in Israel and across the world. Lisa, doing a sort of cross-cultural work is always difficult if you're talking about Argentina and Israel or whatever two pairs of countries. There are always cultural differences that make sort of communication a little bit tough. With that added political element, how much does that actually stand in the way of progress or sort of put in preconceived notions into the issue? Well, speaking about Israel in particular, you're talking about a country with eight and a half million people. That's roughly the same size as New York City in terms of inhabitants. Uh, it's also only about 22,000 square kilometers, but within that small little space in this world, there has been so much incredible innovation that comes out. And when it comes to technology, when it comes to building communities, there will be cultural differences, there will be issues, there will be communication. But in the end, if we're all looking to build something that helps each other's lives, we're going to try and do it together. But do politics stand in the way? I mean, if you are bringing back human capital or information from Israel to Argentina, to those teams, does that come up? Because as we said, it does usually tend to always make its way in there. Yeah, I, I definitely think it, there is risks uh, in, in, in investment, in um, you know hiring teams, in choosing partnerships. But I think technology is is doing its part to, to mitigate those changes and to mitigate those issues. And, and I hope that the situation changes. Uh, but it, it is an issue, uh, and it's something that we all have to face. Mark, uh, uh, just your bigger picture perspective from Silicon Valley to what Israel likes to call itself sort of the satellite Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley. Yeah. <laughs> what, what is the biggest difference that you notice coming here? What are the, what's uh, culturally or otherwise? Um, one of the biggest differences is the market itself. So in the States, we have a, uh, a, the world's largest economy, and our market is other Americans. Here in Israel, uh, the neighbors that you have around us are difficult to um, export your services to and your startups to. So you're always looking abroad and have to innovate double time and work twice as hard to get the same massive, world, uh, to get the same massive scale on uh, the world's platform right now. All right, an interesting look into that project.